Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here with a tribute to the great Jeff Beck, one of the greatest of all guitar players that I'm aware of anyway. He was a very innovative guitar player and a big influence on my playing, not that I can play anywhere close to how he played. He had a very shoot from the hip style and he's experimented with virtually every different style of music imaginable. So I'm going to give you a lesson for going down, but first I'm going to read the bio from uh, Wikipedia. On January 11th, 2023, Jeff Beck, one of the most influential guitarists in the history of rock music, has died from bacterial meningitis at the age of 78. Known for his adventurous playing style, he once stated, if I don't break the rules at least 10 times in every song, then I'm not doing my job properly. And I can totally relate to that, and I totally agree with that. Jeff Beck, original name in full, Jeffrey Arnold Beck, born June 24, 1944, in Wellington, Surrey, England, died on January 10th in Surrey, England. He was an English rock guitarist whose fast, intricate playing influenced the development of heavy metal and jazz rock genres and made him one of the most respected guitarists in rock music. A supporting stint with rock and roll eccentric screaming Lord Such brought young guitarist Beck to the attention of a blues rock group as the Yardbirds, whose lead guitarist became in 1965, replacing Eric Clapton the following year having left the Yardbirds. Beck founded his own combo, the Jeff Beck Group, featuring vocalist Rod Stewart and bassist Ron Wood. On the Truth album in 1968 and Beck Ola in 1969, the band pioneered a fierce, overdriven approach to the blues that laid the groundwork for early heavy metal. Stewart and Wood left in 1970 to join the Small Faces, later the Faces, and Beck was injured in a car accident later that year, forcing him to put his career on hiatus. In 1971, he resurfaced with a new Jeff Beck group that included Bobby Tench on lead vocals and Cozy Powell on drums, later to play with Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. They released two rhythm and blues influenced albums, Rough and Ready in 1971 and Jeff Beck Group in 1972. With former Vanilla Fudge members Carmine Apice and Tim Bogert, Beck released Beck Bogert and a Piece in 1973. After its negative reception, the trio disbanded and Beck embarked on a solo career. The critically acclaimed Blow by Blow album, which was released in 1975, produced by Beatles collaborator George Martin, featured an all-instrumental jazz fusion approach in which Beck's guitar playing essentially took the place of a lead vocalist. He would record largely without vocals for the rest of his career. The Flash album in 1985 was produced by Nile Rodgers and was Beck's most commercial release. It contained the Grammy Award-winning track Escape, as well as a cover of the impressions People Get Ready, which featured Stewart on vocals and became Beck's first hit single. It later, in later years, Beck maintained a relatively low profile, touring occasionally and recording, including contributions to such albums as Mick Jagger's Primitive Cool in 1987 and Roger Waters' Amused to Death in 1992. In 1989, Jeff Beck's Guitar Shop won a Grammy Award for Best Rock Instrumental Performance. In performance at the White House, Red, White, and Blues in the early 21st century, Beck began incorporating electronic textures and hip-hop rhythms into his compositions, notably those for 2003's album Jeff, which won him a Grammy for the song Plan B. Motion and Commotion in 2010 marked a return to Beck's blues rock roots and featured a number of guest vocalists, including Josh Stone and Amelda May. In 2011, the album earned him a pair of Grammy awards for Best Pop Instrumental and Best Rock Instrumental, and he claimed a third trophy for his collaboration with Herbie Hancock on Imagine. Beck collaborated with guitarist Carmen Vandenberg and vocalist Rosie Bones on the aggressive rock album Loud Hailer in 2016. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the Yardbirds in 1992 and as a solo artist in 2009. Here we go, the Going Down by the Jeff Beck Group. I'm tuned to open G on a four string cigar box guitar. This is a fifth string tuned down to G from your normal A. It's your fourth string to normal to D, your third string to normal to G, and your second string to normal to B. 
You can tune off of me. All right. So this is a what they call a boogie, which is simply a fast groove blues song. Pretty funky too. So I do a lot of choking on this song, but you don't have to. I do a lot of these. That's just your open G chord. I'm using my second finger to choke it off. So it's a pretty basic chord progression. It's your G chord, which is your one, and then it's your C chord, which is your four, and then what's the five? Correct, D. So it's zero, which is your open G, or your 12th fret. And then it's five, all the way across, which would be your C. And seven, fret seven, all the way across, which would be your D. So you can use your fingers or your slide. So here's how I play it. I get the groove going. fret or your G, which is your root, right? Keep the song. So that's your D. Then we go down the same riff. So that's third string, fifth fret, down to third, uh, third fret. And then your fourth string, same thing. Down to open. with a couple by the way that's the whole song it just keeps repeating all the way through and there's some solos thrown in on top of that but it's the same riff all the way through so i came up with a couple of different ways that you can kind of play this melody here so we've got the came up with a couple of other things. Octaves. So I'm using my first finger on the third string fifth fret and my pinky on the first string eighth fret. So those are both C. And we walk down two frets. So I'm not using my slide at all. It might look like it. So first finger is on three five and my pinky is on one eight. So those are both the same note. Go down two frets to the same thing. And then we go first finger on four five, second finger on two five. Move those down two more frets, down to three, and then open. So we have octaves now. repeating that chord progression and you can throw in some really cool licks so let me show you a couple of tricks here so i do a lot of funky strumming when i do this kind of thing so i'm playing my first finger on the second string going from second fret to the third fret sliding up so 
I pause for a split second. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. You can do the same thing on the fourth string and the third string and so forth. So let me show you this little lick here. First string, second fret to third fret. That's your second string, third fret. Now we go over to the second string. Do the same thing on the next two strings. string to the four string so this is a very funky boogie it's a boogie is a fast uh, blues basically and this is a very funky boogie that Jeff played so the funkier the better right so do a whole lot of choking this might take a little bit of time for those of you who haven't played a whole lot of this style but for those of you who play regular six string natural tune guitar and you've ever played country or maybe some 70s disco, then you'll know how to do this. So this hand keeps on going. I'm also accenting with this with this hand, so you can hear it go chickle 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 obviously but that's the basic gist of the song there's your G chord and there's your C chord or four chord and then your five chord and you do the same same walk down every time that's the whole thing folks so if you get a chance check out Jeff Beck's recordings online if you haven't heard Jeff Beck or not familiar with him definitely check him out one of the greatest who's ever walked the planet we'll see you next time be sure to subscribe check out my website jagshouse.com with the cigar box guitar store since 2004 please subscribe <laughs>